Hello Sagittarius, and welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin. And Sag, today we're going to do a general reading, baby. Let's talk about the Sagittarius Collective. Let's see what's going on, what's been going on. Well, 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 we have a gift coming through, Saji. A gift just for you. Let's talk about this gift. Let's see what it is. Let's see if it's a material gift. Let's see if it's a spiritual gift. Let's talk about you. Let's see if it's a gift from the universe. Let's talk. Spirit guys. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords here. And Saj, right? for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you would like one, the link is in the description box below. We have the Knight of Swords. We're dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse here. That could be you, or you could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords. Okay, what else we got here for Saj? Well, we have the Devil in reverse. We have the Three of Swords. We have the Wheel of fortune and we have the ace of wands all right let's get into this you could be dealing with the capricorn or uh well let's find out the devil in reverse eh okay so let's talk about it we started this off with this knight of swords energy forward movement going after something right this guy's in the he's on the hunt he's on a mission he's making something happen what is this knight of swords energy here for sad jay what is this energy is it someone coming towards them is it sad jay moving away from somebody oh we got the hermit in reverse we got the star in reverse we got the two of swords we have an earth sign here. It's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got someone coming towards you. The Hermit in reverse and the Star in reverse. This person's feeling some kind of way. They feel blocked. Whoa. Or they might have been indecisive before. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Page of Cups. And there is the Ace of Pentacles. Sajet. Okay. So, you know, this could be multiple things. It could be a person wanting to approach you for love. It could be a business opportunity. The King of Pentacles is a very grounded, very good boss. But you have someone rushing towards you like their ass is on fire. Um, but with the star in reverse and the hermit in reverse, I'm going to I'm gonna say you already know this person. Um, I feel like they've been at a crossroads with for a little bit with regards to you and with regards what to do here. Again, it could be friend, could be business, could be love. It's a general reading, so take it as it is. Um, but there's an energy of... Um, this person rushing towards you. <laughs> they got something to say. They got the three of wands here at the page of cups. They've been waiting to say this. So it's like they could be bringing you a gift, waiting for the right time, waiting for the right opportunity. They could have been healing. My initial instincts when I saw this was someone moving towards you without healing. But this could have been an energy of you were healing or they were healing or this is a, just needing to heal before progressing forward, before going forward, right? Maybe this person had some shit they were dealing with um, and they couldn't progress things forward with you, whether it's a friendship, whether you guys are working a business together, whatever this would be. So I feel this King of Pentacles here is rushing towards you like their ass is on fire. They're a bat out of hell. They got something to say. They got a gift for you. And there's the Queen of Wands in reverse. Why are you upside down, baby? Why are you upside? It, well, it puts you in a position of worry, of anxiety, a little bit of drama. Maybe you weren't expecting this. Maybe it puts you in a position of, yeah, withdrawal. Whoa, Nelly, the Five of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. Temperance, there's you. There's a set. You don't trust this motherfucker. Okay. Okay, you think they're lying. Lovers. Ace of Swords. You want the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Queen of Wands in reverse. Uh, you're trying to trust your intuition here. You don't know how to feel about this. I do feel you have a history with this person, Sag, but you're not so sure. You don't know what to think. <laughs> okay. Well, I feel some of you have this. <laughs> funny because i do feel they brought a gift they brought something some of you were like where'd you get the money for that motherfucker like where, where you where, how are you paying for this that's what i feel when i see that so some even be questioning this the intentions behind what's going on here um but you're worried about that and the six of cups is again the card of healing it's the card of um themes of your life it's a card of someone from your past returning because you are what they want they want you in their life um what else you want to say about the six of cups energy here for sag yeah, but there's negative energy around. There's negative memories with this person. It's also, okay, and there's the hermit upright now. There's the world. This is about forgiveness. This is about trusting your inner, the six of cups in reverse. Yeah, and there's, there. can you forgive this person, Sag? Can you progress this forward? Um, what are their intentions here? Because you're worried about that. You're, you're worried about their intentions. That's what I see. So what is this person's intentions? What do they want with Sagittarius here? What are their intentions? Four of pentacles. The world hermit what the hell the knight of wands the six of pentacles the ace of wands and the chariot they definitely want to move forward i don't feel that they're being completely honest with you but they do want success they do want a new chapter with you but i do believe they're hot and cold in and out so there might be some inconsistent effort with this person uh going forward you might already know this you might already recognize this about this person right like let's say if this is like a business you guys are trying to do a business together and you know you're the you're the artist and they're the creator um you know 
can you count on them? Are they dependable? Are they reliable? So uh, I do see an inconsistent energy with this person. I do see some um, holding back, but I see somebody who wants to create stability. So they have good intentions, but are they going to back it up? That's the question. And that's where you're not certain. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Again, we have the Eight and the Nine of Swords. What is this Eight of Swords here? What is this energy? Let me understand that. There's confusion. over You're overthinking this. Or they're overthinking this. There's the Hermit. Okay, so it's silencing. Okay, so there's the Five of Wands. There's your conflict. Um, so the message here is to trust your inner gnosis here. Trust your intuition. I feel there's going to be a lot of emotion circulating with this Queen of Wands in reverse. I do feel it's like some kind of extravagant gift, like a diamond ring or something. You're like, where... I just keep getting that. Where did you get the money to get this? That's, I don't know why I keep getting that, but I do. Um, but either way, maybe you think they stole it or something, but um, you're trying, you're overthinking this. And the message here, Sag, is to silence your mind. Be the hermit. Um, you know, the hermit is when we go within and we usually go within when things are rocky, when we have decisions to make, right? We look at the background of the card. It's all gray. It's not hunky dory for this guy. Um, so he's trying to trust his inner gnosis, his inner light, his intuition here. But I do feel you're overanalyzing, overthinking, um, caught in analysis paralysis, trying to figure things out. There's the devil in reverse. So can you release this? Can you, for there it is again. Can you forgive? It really comes down to forgiveness because you're mad at this person. Uh, is it worth the investment? Do you want to invest in this? So really comes down to forgiveness, Sag. Can you forgive this person? That's going to be an individual choice. That's what this is. So clearly there's a past with this person. There's been some sorrow, some frustration, some, some, some hurt. But there's the wheel of fortune. That's how we end the reading, baby. So what you want to say about the wheel of fortune first side, Jay? What's this wheel of fortune energy? Eight of pentacles, queen of swords. Seven of pentacles stayed there. The knight of pentacles. You're going to take the time. Um, the queen, the, you know, the, uh, the wheel of fortune. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. There's the seven of cups. So the wheel of fortune is an energy of the ups and downs, the ebbs and flows in life. Luck is turning in your favor. Good karma. Cycles spinning, right? That's what the wheel of fortune is. And the fact that it's up means that you're heading into a good cycle. You're heading on the right side of karma. Um, it's at a turning point. It's, it's, it's even like a little bit of fate, destiny, serendipity, right? I'm not so sure you expected them to come back with this extravagant gift or this offer, this opportunity. Um, and you're trying to figure out if you want to work on this, you have a choice to make. What's the best decision for you? Everything in divine timing. But with the Wheel of Fortune there, here, Sag tells us you'll make the right decision for yourself. You're going to follow your intuition. You're going to be logical, practical. You're going to really just look at this without emotions and say, can this work? <laughs> and it really comes down to whether or not you can forgive. And remember, with the Seven of Cups, forgiveness is moving forward without having all the answers, right? You're going to have to make a decision without knowing exactly how this person's going to react, exactly how they're going to transform whether they're going to put in the consistent effort or whether they can even change or work on this with you there's the eight of wands moving forward so you have a choice to make when it comes to this person um trust your intuition let's grab some oracles we'll see what they oh they're telling me to grab these oh i don't use these very often okay hold on these are my little homemade cards i made them a couple years ago i don't use them much but they want me to grab them so there's a little bit of a message that they'd like to pass along for you all right all right what is the message here you are bossing up baby so this very well could be maybe like a job, like a promotion where you got passed up or, you know, a business partnership that didn't quite go well, uh, the right direction here. So you're bossing up. Who cares what they say? Follow your path. And on the bottom, don't be afraid to try something new. Okay. So what does Sajay need to surrender to when it comes to this person returning here, this person with this offer, this opportunity? What do you want to say? Your fear of change. Hmm. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a job, health, a change in your relationship, if you're aging or death, repeat the affirmation. I have faith that all is well. And the lesson here for Saj, right? What's the biggest lesson that this person is teaching of the situation is teaching Saj? Growth. Yeah. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Okay. Let's grab your energy oracles. They're like buried over here. Okay. Let me grab them here, Sajji. Hold on a moment here. Hold on a moment. All right. Energy Oracle message for the Sagittarius Collective. <laughs> Hostilities. Okay, what's on the bottom? Man holding a heart. This is a masculine energy coming in with um, some very difficult emotions. They may have been hostile in the past. Um, you might be hostile or resistant to accepting their emotions, accepting what they're offering, but there they are wanting to be in a connection. There's the storm warning and there's the world. The end of that storm, though, that storm is coming to an end. But I think this person returning here, uh, rushing in here, they bring up all kinds of emotions. 
there could be a disagreement between the two of you, but I just feel like there's some very difficult emotions that are being dealt with, healed, and worked through here, Sag. Um, there's definitely a history with this person. What do you want to say about that? There's you tied up. Trust your intuition, door to spirit, right? Being at peace with the past, this dove. Being at peace with the past, peace with the things you can't change. Walking through this door and allowing spirit to guide you. I feel like it's a message of going with the flow. Um, yeah, there's a lot of... Yeah, well, them returning stirs up some 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 feelings for sure here, Sag, um, which is going to be reflective of what you decide to do. So we're going to grab your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, <laughs> there's always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, let's see how you're doing in a month. Let's see how things progress. Let's see what you decide to do or if you've made a decision, if you welcome this person back, taking this offer. Let's see what you do here. Let's see how you're doing. Let's find out. There's a page of one. There's a six of swords and the page of wands. But what direction are you moving in? That is the million dollar question, baby. Oh, baby, you know who you are. You better recognize Sagittarius. Yes, we got Empress energy in the house. She's just chilling, eating her bananas, eating her pomegranates here. We got the eight of cups in reverse. Okay, one more card there with that eight of cups in reverse. There's a knight of cups. There's the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. And there's the five, there's the conflict. What's on the bottom of that five of wands? Seven of Pentacles. Saj, I see you uh, taking this. I see you progressing forward. You don't want to regret this. So it's like an energy of you don't want to turn this down and say, what if, what if, what if, what if? I see you moving forward. I see you letting this person know, okay, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this business. Let's take this venture. I'm going to accept your promotion or I'm going to accept you as a friend, a family or a lover here. Uh, but, and I say, but. They better treat you right. They better come back right or not come back at all. You're the empress here. So they better recognize that. They better treat you like the empress. You're going to set your healthy boundaries. They're on a psh, short leash here. Um, but you don't want to regret. The eight of cups is in reverse. So you don't want to regret missing this opportunity or missing the potential of what could happen here. You're following your heart. You did a lot of thinking. Um, you're moving forward. There's the ace of pentacles. So the conflict is over. You've accepted this person back into your life, whatever their relationship to you was. You've taken their gift. You're moving forward. However, they better remember, you know, you're, you, I think it's like this is, you, let me just say they're on a short leash. I already said that. You set your healthy boundaries. You set your expectations. If they don't live up to the expectations, I think Sajay will be out of there. You know what I mean? So Sajay, that's what I got. That's what's up. That's what's going down. So if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, and subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. Thank you, Sagittarius. I always, always appreciate your support. Couldn't find my yes or no question. So let's get the yes or no question here to close off your reading today. Spirit guides, yes or no? What's the answer for Sag? Yes or no? What's the answer? No. That's what I have, Sag. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.